Today we're going to discuss Motion Pro's Video Explorer or uh, Student Database or Player Database. To open our database, just click on File like you'd open a video, Open Video or Picture File, or just click on an Open Folder. This is in our uh, Advanced and Instructional Edition. As you see, there's the thumbnails of all the videos. Um, all your students would be stored here. In our case, we have students and uh, demos we do for different sports. Let's create a new student. Let's click on Create Student. Call it Jim. Click on OK. And there it's stored, uh, created five tabs below. Down the line, front view, lessons, other views, and clips. These are by default. Uh, right now, you can't change those, but in the future, you'll be able to uh, put your own categories under there. And basically it's stored under Jim. It called there's your subdirectories under basically it stores on a C colon motion pro videos, students, and in this case Jim, and it puts all the subdirectories here. In order for your videos to show up on a video explorer, you just have to store your videos under one of these subdirectories. Let's uh, hit OK. And once you hit OK, uh, your student you go up to advanced, select default student, and it'll bring up the same window. And then you just hit OK, and it'll create a default student of Jim. You'll see right on top of the screen so you know what student you're currently uh, is active. To uh, save a video, we're going to save a video. Click uh, Save right next to the open folder. Hit OK. And right here it brings up Jim's uh, subdirectories. We're going to put it in down the line because, like I said, we have to put the video within one of those directories. Click on Save. And then I won't open a video. Now go back up to the open folder to open a video. And there's the video under down the line. Uh, and it's showed up in our uh, browser there. Now you can also drag your videos uh, as well. So I'm going to drag a video from my desktop here and it'll store the video in the same place but you could drag them so you don't have to if you have current videos you want to put under a student. And just hit OK. Actually one more thing is browse. If you don't want to use the Explorer just click on browse to find a video currently on your computer. You could do that as well and search for a video to open in Motion Pro. If you don't want to use the uh, the Video Explorer, just go down to Settings, use Video Explorer, uncheck that, and then next time you bring up a window, it'll just bring up normal Windows Explorer. That concludes this tutorial.